Right, this is a tailor's buttonhole. And I want you to look at the double stitching along the cut edge. Unfortunately, this diagram isn't perfectly correct. Well, I'll explain as I go along. As this is how the stitch is formed. This is the cut edge. This is the fabric. And the needle goes in comes out from behind the fabric into the, the cut to the right side and the thread is twisted around the needle and it's twisted around making a figure S okay then the needle gets pulled through and you end up with a corded effect at the bottom this one doesn't quite show the stitch correctly correctly but it's close enough to give you an idea cut edge fabric edge cut edge fabric edge cut edge fabric edge now ignore all the wisps and the untidy look of it it actually isn't untidy if you could see it on the fabric it's very very neat and you you get the effect of a buttonhole stitch here the same with this one same with this one it looks all hairy and loose this photograph is magnified enormously how do I know cause I stitched it I took the photograph I cropped it out and I blew it up There's another version of it. There's another version of it. I'm particularly fond of this version. The fabric is satin and the thread is a 40 weight embroidery thread and the density here is 4 so you can tell how exploded this photograph is. And then we're back to the beginning. So what's that got to do with our cutwork design. Well it's got an enormous amount to do with our cutwork design. So we'll go back to the other window for a minute. Because I'm going to use it on these shapes. And back to design two. And I'm going to show you what I did. Because I want you to make your own experiments now when I first started I started doing one two three four a back stitch come back this way yeah it's there I'm just going to finish that there Right, I'm going to highlight that and go into object details, change that to 6, go into dimensions and tell this I want a width of 1, 2, I'll tell you what, I'll do the height first. for 16% I find it easier to do the the height first 16 that's a wee bit wide okay I hit my B key blow the screen up And you can see it's still a bit wide, so I'm going to go back into Object Details, Dimensions 6, here we go, 167 miles too wide, I'll say 1, okay, that might be a bit better. So I'm going to go to Embroidery, and I'm going to make Motif. 
And I want to put this one in Xperi because I know it's not going to work. A, B, C, D, E, Xperi. Motif name. Right. B, H, M. OK. And then I'm going to put a node and a node. BHM has been created. OK, thank you kindly. Put the grid back on. And drop the resolution because we're up at 32,000. Go and pick up my motif run line. Come down here. Go to line stitch. Go to motif run line. I like to choose mine before I actually do it. OK. Spacing 0.63. No. Spacing 0.45. Two points in there. And it won't work with two points. That's better. OK. My hands are not playing nicely. Right. What you might call a bit of a squawky mess. Let's look at it in a stitch simulator. And it's not totally unlike a blanket stitch. So this time I'm going to run it in the other direction because I don't want it in that shape. One, two, three, four, five. And there it is in the middle. And it doesn't look too bad, but we're up at 800% here. There it is done, 100%. See the little teeny stitch in there? But it wasn't really what I wanted, and it didn't work none too well. So let me go and pick up my other one that I made. Line stitch. That was 1.45. And make this point eight. Blow my screen up. So that was another experiment, which I didn't entirely like. Lost it. There it is. I didn't have that nice crisscross movement that I wanted. And I got this business. If I take my measuring stick, and I go from here to here, that tells me it's 3.6. And that was because I forgot to set my stitch length before I actually made my motif. So I've got a 1.4 stitch, a 1.4 stitch, get in there, a 1.4 stitch. And this one is 0.8. So I thought, no, I don't like any of those. They don't work. They don't look right. So I'm going to delete all those. So I went and I had another play.